Welcome back everyone. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make crispy pork hocks. That almost sounds a little bit wrong. Maybe I should call it pork knuckle. Now with high meat prices and the cost of living in general just absolutely skyrocketing, I wanted to do a few videos highlighting a few different cuts that are still cheap, but super tasty and still big enough that you can make a meal for the family out of. All right, so there's lots of different ways you can make crispy pork hock. There's a bit of a process to the method I'll be showing you, but the first thing we wanna do is set our smoker up. So we're gonna need some charcoal or briquettes, fire lighters and a lighter. All right, so we'll open our lid, take our cooking grate off, we'll take our heat deflector out, and then we'll fill our charcoal basket up. And then we'll bury a couple of fire lighters in there and light them up. And now we'll come back once those fire lighters have burnt out and our briquettes have started to catch light, which will take about 10 minutes. All right, so as you can see, our fire light is burnt out and our briquettes have caught light nicely. So we can now shut our lid and open both of our vents up to start bringing this smoker up to temperature. All right, and after five minutes, we're just below our target temperature, which for this cook, I'm gonna to look to hold it at around the 250 Fahrenheit or 120 Celsius range. So I'm gonna shut that intake vent down to around there, and that's gonna hold us nicely at that temperature. And if I need to decrease that temperature, I'll shut it down a little bit more. If I need to increase temperature, I'll open it up a bit more. And now we're ready to get these pork hocks on. So I'll open our lid, got a beautiful chunk of nectarine from Natural Smoke here. We'll get that straight on the fire and we'll get our heat deflector back in. I'm gonna drop this cooking grate down on the second level just so these hocks fit, because I wanna stand these up in there if I can. And then I'm gonna give these about half an hour to 45 minutes in the smoke. So we'll shut our lid and let these smoke away. All right, so these pork hocks have been going for a little over half an hour now. It started to take on some nice color from that smoke. So what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna finish them off with a braise to really get some flavor into that meat and tenderize it too. So we're gonna get our camp oven out, take that lid off. I've just got a little trivet in there just so the pork hocks aren't directly on the bottom of that camp oven. So we'll get our pork in there. It's gonna be a tight fit actually. And then I'm gonna add some chicken stock. So that is a liter of chicken stock. And I've got about 20 peppercorns here. And then I've got three cloves of garlic. I'm just gonna crush them lightly. And then I've got half a brown onion. Just gonna roughly chop that. And we'll add those in around the pot. And then we'll top the rest up with some boiling water. Then we'll get our lid on, close our smoker back up, and we'll come back to check on that in around an hour's time. All right, our pork hocks have been gently simmering away for about an hour now. And all I wanna do now is just turn them over and we'll have a quick check of the internal. I want these to be nice and tender around that 205 Fahrenheit or 96 degree Celsius mark. They still need to go a bit further. I reckon another half an hour to 45 minutes will do it. So we'll get our lid back on, shut the lid to our smoker and let these keep cooking away. All right, it's been about half an hour since we last checked in. So these pork hocks have been in our camp oven for just over an hour and a half now. We'll just give the meat a little probe. It's feeling much more tender. Now I'm happy with that, so we'll get these out. All right, so now our pork hocks are out. I'm just gonna get some paper towel and pat the skin dry. And the next thing I'm gonna do is just pierce the skin all over with a jacquard. If you don't have a jacquard, you can just use the tip of a knife. And then now these are gonna go into the fridge for 48 hours to dry that skin out so we can get that perfect crispy crackling. I'll leave them on this wire rack so we can get some good airflow around them. So I'm gonna get these into the fridge and we'll come back once we're ready to finish these off. All right, so our pork's been in the fridge for 48 hours now. That skin is nice and dry. We're not far off being ready to finish it off. But first, we're gonna get some sides going. First of which is some potatoes. I've just got some cocktail potatoes here and we're simply just gonna boil these so they soften up. So we'll let these cook away until they're nice and soft and then we'll crisp them up once we get these pork hocks in. All right, and then once your potatoes are probing nice and soft with a fork, we can strain them and get them into a bowl. And I'll just get them in the fridge for 30 minutes so they can firm back up so they don't fall apart when we season them. All right, now it's time to set our barbecue up. You wanna choose a barbecue that can produce some high indirect heat, something like a kettle or Kamado. Or honestly, for this last part of the cook, you could use your oven or air fryer as well. So we're just gonna get some fire lighters going, place our charcoal chimney on top, and then you wanna fill that up with either lump charcoal or briquettes. And now we've got about 15 minutes until these briquettes are ready, so we'll use that time to season up these potatoes. All right, now we've got our beautiful little potatoes here. All we're gonna do is give them a light coat in some olive oil. Make sure they are all nice and evenly coated. And then we're just gonna give them a light coat in our garlic goals. 
Now by all means, if you've got another favorite rub for roast potatoes, go ahead and use that. Or some salt, pepper, garlic, always does the trick as well. All right, and while we're at it, we're gonna season up some green beans for later on as well. So just a light coat of olive oil, pinch of salt, and then I'm just gonna add three cloves of crushed garlic. Then we'll give our beans a good mix and I'll finish them off with a squeeze of fresh lemon juice later on. All right, now our briquettes are just about ready. I'm gonna get these poor cocks out and give them a light brush in some olive oil, just on the skin only. And then we'll finish them off with some flaky salt. And now we'll come back once these briquettes are ready to set the rest of our barbecue up and get all this in. All right, so our briquettes are pretty much there. Those few that aren't ashed over completely, we'll get the rest of the way while our barbecue is preheating. So we'll take our chimney out, get our charcoal baskets in and fill them up. All right, now our charcoal baskets are full. We'll shut our lid, make sure both of our vents are open and we'll give our barbecue a few minutes to preheat. All right, now our barbecue is nice and hot. We'll open our lid, get our cooking grate back on. We'll get these pork cocks on. I'm gonna try and stand them up if I can. And then I'm just gonna get these potatoes around them. I reckon it's gonna take around half an hour to 45 minutes for our pork cocks to crackle up and our potatoes to get crisp. So we'll shut our lid. Our beans are only gonna take about 15 minutes, so we'll get them in soon. All right, it's been just over half an hour. These potatoes are looking amazing. But we're just not getting that perfect crackling. It is bubbling up in a few spots. So just to help it along, I'm gonna finish these off under the grill inside. Like I've said in previous videos, don't hesitate to do this if it's just not working in your barbecue. And I'll get those beans in now. They should only take about 10 minutes. And we'll come back once this is all done. All right, and after about 15 minutes, our beans are looking awesome. Our potatoes are beautiful. And we ended up getting some half decent crackling on our poor cocks. Definitely not ideal, but we've done the best we could with it. Maybe the poor cocks could have done with some more time drying out. And the barbecue could have been a little bit hotter as well. It was only running at about 450 Fahrenheit or 230 Celsius. Sometimes I do like going a bit more towards that 500 Fahrenheit or 260 Celsius. But the main thing is always have a backup plan. You can finish it off under the grill like we did or in the air fryer. All right, and now it's time for a taste. All right, let's cut some off. There's still plenty of good parts on that skin that have crackled well, but it's definitely not that perfect pork crackling that I like to aim for. That's just the way it happens sometimes. There's lots of good flavor in that meat. It's still nice, tender and juicy, and you still get that nice subtle smoke flavor as well. Let's try one of the potatoes. Those potatoes, incredible. If you haven't tried garlic goals on roast potatoes, you are seriously missing out. And then those beans always make for a quick, easy, but super tasty side. So there you go, how to make crispy pork hock. That definitely didn't turn out 100%, but we still produced a very tasty end result. And like I said, make your life easier. Instead of using your barbecue to get that perfect pork crackling, take it inside, use your air fryer, get it under the grill, do whatever you need to do to get that perfect crackling. And that makes for a very, very cheap and tasty meal. So if you've got any questions, don't hesitate to ask them in the comments below. Shout out to all my YouTube members. I hope you enjoyed the early access to this video and all the other perks you get. But for now, that's the end of the video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.